Hi, I'm here with John Castellano of Castellano Designs. John's been around the uh, the industry quite a bit, and he's here to show us a couple of bikes. John, tell us about uh, tell us about yourself. Well, I got my start in aerospace. I worked at Hughes Aircraft Company, working on space shuttle and communication satellites, and learned how to make expensive stuff. And then uh, my goal was always to start building bikes and and wheeled vehicles. So when I started my company, I built off-road wheelchairs for five years, uh, which were initially intended for mountain biking and camping and stuff. But then they started getting used for downhill racing. And so that evolved eventually into a full suspension wheelchair with six shock absorbers and pivots everywhere. <laughs> and that chair is uh, took fourth first out of the box, and then we've been undefeated since then. So it works pretty well. Very nice. And then, uh, so I built wheelchairs for a few years uh, while I was developing a suspension system for my own personal bike. And then uh, what I came up with I thought was pretty good. So I patented it and uh, started licensing it out. So I licensed it to Schwinn and Ibis and Wilderness Trail Bikes and Breezer and, and Rocky Mountain. And uh, just kept developing it over the years. And then when the uh, Paragon slider dropouts came out, I realized that I could make a really good single speed. So what we have here is the uh, world's first and only long travel single speed friendly bike. Uh, it's got Paragon slider dropouts for adjusting chain tension and this gives a full six inches of wheel travel without changing the chain tension. Wow. So you can have Holy a... Holy grail, so to speak. Oh, yeah, speak. long travel and, and uh, fixed chain stay length at the same time. Uh, this bike you can also set up either as a single speed or a geared bike by exchanging the dropout. And uh, it's unique in that you can run either a 26 inch rear wheel as you see here or by just moving the shock to the upper hull, you can run a 29-inch rear wheel. That's amazing. <laughs> so you can run it as a 26, a 29er or a 69er with the same bike, single speed or geared, and you can either run a short shock for four and a half inches travel or a long shock for six inches of travel. So how does it ride, John? This thing, I am in love with this bike. I don't ride anything else. I, I got hooked on single speeding, and this bike has a long wheelbase, so you don't have to do body English. You can just right. mash it up hills and through rock gardens and. Even around switchbacks, I was amazed that you, could, you just you just rail the front end around and whip it, and it, it goes through anything. It's really amazing. And uh, after riding this for almost a year, I can barely ride a 26er anymore. Ah, nice. I've given up geared bikes unless absolutely necessary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've always had to make the choice of uh, single speed or full suspension, and it looks like you've uh, you've achieved the balance here. Uh huh. Uh, the two uh, of the two technologies or passions. That's that's what I try to do. Yeah. Thank you for showing it to us.